Welcome to Weiss Software's DRC DFM Visual Cam video series. In this video, you will learn how to set up and run DRC DFM analysis. The Visual Cam analysis function verifies that your design meets the design, manufacturing, and fabrication rules that you specify. Prior to running the analysis, some data preparation is required. First, import your data or open a previously created visualcam.vcam file. Then, using the Setup Layers menu command, toolbar button, or the navigator, make sure that each layer is tagged with the correct layer type. The top layer is set to top, inner layers to inner, bottom layer is set to bottom, etc. This is required so that the system understands what each layer is. Note that if you're using an intelligent data format such as IPC2581 or ODB++, your layer types should automatically be set up on import. Next, if you have any drawn pads in your database, select one of the tools, convert, drawn pads commands to convert them to flashes. You can quickly see if you have drawn pads by turning the flash and draw colors to contrasting colors. See the Drawn Pad Conversion video for details on running this command. If any layers are misaligned, use the Edit Align Layers command to align them. Use the Tools Pad Removal Stacked command to remove any redundant pads. Now that all data is cleaned up, the last step in preparing your data for analysis is to generate a net list that the analysis command will use to run the checks. Select the Tools, Net List, Generate command, or use the toolbar button to create a net list. In the dialog, select the Through Hole NC layer. Select the Include Single Point Nets option if you wish to designate all isolated pads as nets. Choose the Select Group button if you have created a select group of items that you do not want to be included in the analysis checks. For example, text outside of the border. Select the Preserve Existing Net Names if you wish to keep the existing net names. Click on the OK button to generate the net list. Once you have finished preparing your file, use the Menus and select the Analysis DRC command or click on the Setup DRC button on the Analysis Buttons toolbar to open the DRC Analysis dialog. This dialog is resizable. After resizing and or adjusting list columns, the settings will be remembered once you click on the OK button. In the dialog, Run Name is optional. Each run can be assigned a descriptive name for easy reference in the future. Each run that is performed is logged in the navigator and uses the assigned run name. If you do not assign a run name, the run is identified by the time and date it is performed. Highlight layer is also optional. To easily see all the errors at once, you can choose a highlight layer, which will copy all database items that are involved in an error to a layer. Select an empty layer as your highlight layer. Select none if you do not want the data copied to another layer. Each run can contain one or more passes. Each pass defines a set of layers and the design rules that apply to them. You may set up as many passes as required and execute them all sequentially. Add a check mark by the pass on which you want to run the analysis. You can choose to run all passes at the same time or run one at a time. If the pass is not selected, then this pass will not be run. You may add and delete as many passes as you need using the Add and Delete buttons. To change the name of an existing pass, click on it to highlight the name and click a second time. The name is highlighted and a cursor appears next to it. You can then type in a new name for this pass. Each pass will have its own set of layers and analysis checks assigned. In the Layers to Check window, you will be prompted with the available layer types for analysis. First, the pass must be selected and highlighted in blue. Then the layers you wish to analyze for this pass should be selected. 
Note that if you want to perform any analysis on drill data, you must select your NC layer. Drill checks are not available unless the NC layer is specified. With your pass highlighted and the layers selected for this pass, you will now select and set up the analysis for each pass. The Analysis Type column is where you will select each analysis you wish to run in the selected pass and enter the appropriate properties. If a check mark appears on a folder icon, it means you have selected an analysis to run in that particular category. If an X appears next to an analysis, the analysis cannot be run because the appropriate layers have not been selected or do not exist in your design. If you would like to check or uncheck all analysis in a folder, you can right-click on the folder and choose Check All or Uncheck All. In the second column, Properties are the defined parameters for each check. To change a property, click on it and type in the value. Press the Enter key on your keyboard to have VisualCam accept the value, or click on the next property you want to edit. If there are two values to set, such as in the Drill to Copper type, after editing the first value, the cursor will automatically jump to the second value for you to type in. Again, click on the Enter key to accept. The third column, Layers, displays the layers used in each check, selected in the Layers to Check column. Some checks, like the Border DRC check, are predefined with the appropriate layer type to analyze. In this example, the layer being border. The second value is the selected layer or layers to compare it against. If no layers have been selected, none selected appears. If a layer of the correct type does not exist in your design, not defined appears. For example, isolated and starved thermals shows not defined because the design we are looking at does not have negative plane layers with thermals. Select Window Mode to run your analysis on just a selected area of data. If this option is not selected, the entire design is analyzed. Select Don't Check Items and Select Group if you want to ignore all items that are in the current select group. For example, if you have blocks of text that you know you do not want analyzed, you may use the Edit, Select, Add To command to create a select group with those blocks of text. The text will be ignored, thereby producing a more, much cleaner report. The Max Errors text box allows you to set a limit of how many errors can be found or logged. This prevents the analysis from generating a huge report file if you enter incorrect spacing rules. If you do not want to limit the number of errors, click the arrow button and select No Limit. The No Limit command is a toggle. The Exclude Vias from non via specific DRC checks option allows you to set up another pass with different rules specific for vias. If this option is enabled, the pad specific checks, pad to pad, pad to trace, etc., will not process vias. Use the Save button to save your rule set to an external file. When you click on Save, you will be presented with two options. Save Normal requires that your layer structure is exactly the same as the design into which you are loading the saved rules. Save Dynamic saves the rules by layer type, so you do not have to have the exact layer structure. For maximum efficiency, we recommend you save your rules to a dynamic rule file that can be loaded and used by all future designs. Click on the Load button to load previously saved pass rule settings from an external file. This command will load settings from a VisualCam design file as well as a standalone rule file. The Set as Default button saves the current settings to the registry and will be the default settings used in all designs. Once you have all your passes, layers, and analysis set up, click on the Run button to perform the selected analyses. When the system is done running the analysis checks, you will be prompted if any errors were found. After performing the analysis, VisualCam automatically displays the errors in the navigator. To see how to view and automatically fix the errors using the navigator, 
Please see the video titled DRC DFM Error Analysis in the same series. This completes the How to Set Up and Run DRC DFM Analysis video in Weiss Software's DRC DFM VisualCam video series.